All right, so a quick video on slope. This is your slope in the middle of your screen right here. This is your actual slope. This is your set slope. So I can change it, set my slope to whatever I want. This is the actual slope of the machine. So this little symbol right here is the direction of your slope. So right now the left side of the machine is sloped down and the right side of the machine is sloped up technically. Now if I swap this over here, now my slope control has matched what the machine is and it's activated. Now if I would have had this back here, adjusted this down, say 2% down on the left side, and just hit the swap on here button up here on top. Now my set 2% is active on the right side. The actual is still 1.0 because the machine's turned off right now, obviously, and it's not adjusting. So I'll have a more in-depth video coming out about how to use slope, when not to use slope, and the benefits and downsides of using it. So it's, it's a handy feature. It's really great, but there's some areas that will really, really get you in trouble if you don't understand it or know how to use it. The basics, though, is that the slope will hold the machine at a specific angle based on what the left side on this in this example is cutting. So this is going to follow the surface at zero with a 2% upslope. You could have this set at 2 inches and it would hold a 2% angle on the machine from that zero set. So it's very important that your reference side, which would be this side right now, is consistent because if the road goes up and down, so will your slope go up and down because it's going to hold the machine at that same angle all the time. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, for a brief introduction to slope, there's a lot more to it. Like I said, there'll be a more in-depth video coming out soon. Till then, hey, be safe.